Here's another gift that you need to give your children. And if you don't give them, they won't make it in this world. I'm not going to tell you what that is right away, but I need you to start thinking about your habits. What do you do on a daily basis that your children are watching that they can learn from? Is it that you pray? Huh. That's probably a good thing. Is it that you go to work? That's also probably a good thing. How do you handle conflict? Have you thought about that? I'm going to tell you in a moment, there's one thing in particular that's really going to transform how they process and do life. How do you handle conflict? Getting back to that. What's it like? Are you slow to anger? Are you irritable? Can they tick you off really quickly? What's that like? Because you're modeling that anyway. Just take a look. Take a look. All right, I'm going to stop delaying. The thing that I want you, I do want you to think about those things. The thing that I want to talk about in this particular video that is the greatest gift you can teach your children and I gotta be honest, some of you may not know what it is because it's probably not something you were given. I need you to teach your children how to think. Mm. That's the greatest gift you can give them. Not money, not health, not wealth, nothing. Teaching them to think. Now I know you're probably thinking, Marquise, oh come on, they already think. No, 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 no. Slow it down. I had a conversation with a friend, she's woman's coach, she does a lot of good stuff in that arena. She said, Marquise, most people don't think. Thinking is a process by which you are in the moment, processing what's transpiring, and moving forward. Leaving, it's the ability to, to, to think, to process something, fix it, and also determine next steps. That's why some people are really good at chess or board games. They're thinking, they're using their brain. Most of us, are not thinking. Most of us are not putting our two cents together, cultivating something and creating it. Most of us are remembering. We're remembering our past. We're remembering the feeling of what it was like the last time it happened. And we're processing the challenges that we're processing from thinking, excuse me, from remembering and that remembering is not thinking. Let me prove it to you. How many times has someone came up to you and did something to you or said something to you that was a reflection of something that someone else said before? Or let me say it in simple terms. How many times has somebody came up to you and offended you when it really wasn't them, but it was an old wound that you had unresolved? How did you feel in that moment? Probably still hurt a little bit, didn't it? You probably wanted to blame them. You probably wanted to go off on them. You see, that's proof that you weren't thinking. Not at all. You were remembering. They took you into memory and you brought that past state into the present moment and you responded, or excuse me, you reacted to the people that you were engaged with. You felt all the emotion. It was real. But do you know that that wasn't because of that interaction? It was real because of the past. You were remembering something and you were in defense around it, it was unresolved, and so it's now same. It's, it's here, you're unleashing it. Whew. You, oh, you know, like when you have a bad day at work, the boss pissed you off, customers didn't do what you needed to do, and someone embarrassed you, and then you come home, and you go off on your family? Ooh, I know I'm hitting buttons. Why, is it, why else is it that our family are the ones that's easiest to go off on? That doesn't even make sense when you slow it down and think about it, right? How is it that you easily go off on your loved one for something that happened somewhere else? We are doing that because we're stuck in remembering. We're not processing where we are, as my son would say, be where your feet are. When you're where your feet are and you're present to the moment, then and only then do you have an opportunity to move forward. I know, it's a skill and you weren't taught to think. In fact, let me help you. You were taught to remember. Oh, you want me to prove that too? What did you learn in school? To memorize and remember. That's what all the tests were about. Cultivating this, I, school wasn't about you learning anything. It was trying to put you in a cycle, in a trance, so that you live your life always remembering. Come on. 
pick any war in the U.S. that we fought in, you're going to remember. Yeah, you're going to remember. Just when you think about, remember 9-11. I'm not saying that lives didn't die and that we shouldn't care about those people, but why is it such a strong thing that we remember that instead of build toward a future? There are so many countries so more advanced than we are because we're spending too much time remembering. I am an African American and I know America has not treated us fairly in the context of reparations. I don't care if you like it or not. The fact is we practice reparations as a country for other, instant, uh, other people groups and we've not done it there. It shouldn't happen. But I also know that it doesn't do me any good every day to remember that my ancestors were slaves outside of the context because there is a time for remembering, to be grateful and cultivate. See, it's a time to remember, but to be grateful and to cultivate. It's the thinking piece that if you can give that to your children. Now, let me help you because many of you don't know what thinking is like. So let me help you with that process. Thinking can be cultivated as a part of how you exist. Number one, through conversation. Conversation that is solution oriented. Conversation that is looking for the root cause of something, not what happened, the root cause of something. So now you're thinking, you're moving beyond, well, you did this. You're moving to the root cause of something and you're trying to unpack it. That means you're going in depth to figure out what's going on, what's creating the behavior, the undesired behavior, and you're unpacking it to figure it out. Now that you've done that, you've moved past the action into thinking and you've uprooted the root cause. Now you look at the root cause and go, wow, how interesting. That then gives you the opportunity to think and create a solution so that the root cause is no longer sourcing how you show up in life. This is good stuff, man. This is good stuff. And how are you going to cultivate the necessary tools to transform the root cause? I got you. Through reading books, yes. By going to seminars, yes. That is self-development. By learning, watching YouTube, Audible, I don't care. But by getting a new information around that topic to expand your current understanding and challenge it. I know I'm providing some good stuff here. And there's a lot more like this coming. Listen, join my free VIP group. The link is below. You can get more good stuff like this to help you learn, unpack, and become a thinker. Because if you teach your children to think, then they won't spend their time remembering and doing what everyone else is doing. Because 95% of people, not only do they not think, they don't know how to think. It's a skill, though, that can be learned, that you can learn, that you can hand off to your children. Because... When problems arise, they'll know how to go find out what the root cause is, and then they'll be able to cultivate a strategy to move forward because that's what thinking is going to allow them to do. Oh, and by the way, they'll have good habits that's always stimulating their thinking that they can bounce ideas off of. They don't have to agree with what's in the book. They just need to understand and then begin to make choices and get more information to process and begin to make more choices. I hope you're starting to understand this because this is one of the greatest keys for your life to be lived fulfilled and for you to be the parent of their dreams. Teaching them to think is the greatest gift you can offer. Do me a favor, subscribe, hit that bell, leave a comment below. I wanna know what you think. I don't care if you don't like what I'm saying. Let's talk about it. And then also share this with somebody you love. I appreciate you. Peace.